Hey guys, welcome back. Most of you would be working on Jenkins for CI and CD automation. While writing the pipeline code, you might need to read some data from the properties file, whether it is a Java application or .NET application. So in this video, I'll show you how you can write the code in Jenkins file to read the properties file and retrieve the data. So let's start. In our last video, we had seen how to write the pipeline code to build the Java application and deploy into the Tomcat server. So in this Jenkins file, we are going to add the step for the reading the properties file from the Java project. Okay, so what we need first, we have to write the code. How we, I'll show you how we can generate the code. Before that, if you go to your repository, you'll see here one build.properties file will be there in the project folder. Okay, normally what happened the developer they add the properties file based on that code. He has to write the code and those properties files retrieve inside that application code. So if you just open this build.properties file, you'll see some uh, kind of code like this. Okay. Uh, it will be like deployed at app application name is devops web and environment and type all this you can find it out okay so we need this properties file to be while building we need this to be retrieved and build our application or deploy our applications so how we can write it just go to your jenkins okay so we are going to use the last project whatever i had shown you in your last video just open this project if you have already created and uh, configure it just go down we'll see one pipeline syntax right last uh, last video i had shown you right how to uh, generate the uh, pipeline syntax using the snippet generator the same things we are going to use again click on the pipeline syntax and here you'll see one options will be there um, like read properties okay if you go down here you can see here one will be there read properties so if you don't find this read properties in your uh, drop down list of the snippet generator that means you have not installed the required plugin so what you have to do you have to simply go to your manage jenkins and there you have to just install one pipeline basic plugin okay Pi pipeline plugin so if you i go to my installed logins here if i search for pipeline and you can see here uh, i have uh, all the see this pipeline is already installed for me okay pipeline and uh, you will see some pipeline implementations for blue ocean uh, pipeline uh, maven integration pl plugin and basically you need uh, this pipeline utility steps okay if these things are installed then that means you'll find this read properties options over there okay if not installed just install the plugin fine now what we need okay. select this select this read properties and you see here um, this read properties what it says this is a special step and no snippet generation available so it is not require any snippet code will not be generated if we use it simply click on this and you will see one method will come as read properties then how we will write this read properties in our code let me show you just go to your jenkins file and here what we will do uh, all, everything are there okay so the simple way we can write it down here is uh, suppose in this tape deploy to tomcat server i am just showing you how we can retrieve the properties uh, let me just add so in this step what i'm going to do as remember as this particular thing is a groovy script options okay this required to be run under the script so what you have to write you have to just use script option here and inside this script you have to just define a variable called read prop anything it's up to you so i have given this read prop and what you need you need this read properties okay read properties so just write it down read properties here okay and what i need if you go there 
uh, here uh, in the read properties if you click helper feature uh, you will find uh, the read file file how you can write it you can see some examples they have given define a variable here and you can see here the properties file by using the file you can just use this properties file so let me write it down here simply write file colon and you have to pass the file name so in our case it is build dot properties build dot properties okay so this is what you have to put into your script block now how will access the data inside this build properties let me show you so we can just just i'm simply uh, just demonstrating one echo statement to print the data okay simply here i can write like this is running on suppose on the environment name the type of environment or suppose uh, what um, uh, either it is productions or staging server so if we go here uh, to the build um, I just in deploy dot type deploy dot type equal to staging so I want to display this value so what I can do here I can just write dollar curly braces and here I need this read prof this variable this properties this value has been assigned to this read prop right just write this read prop here and here it should be as a list okay and you have to call this uh, as paste it here deploy dot type okay so what it will do it will just get this deploy dot type from this build dot properties file now if I show here uh, just what I do save this file and upload into your project the Jenkins file, previous Jenkins file, uh, Jenkins file is there. So I want to just upload the new one which we just wrote it. Okay, now let's upload the file, and this is in my desktop. You can just upload this file here. So the file is uploaded now. What I can do simply just go ahead and execute the build and let's see what's happening. Okay, uh, let's click build now and 11th build is running. So let's go ahead see the output here. Build is success. So the things we had written in our so there is one error we could see here no such dsl method called read properties okay here we see one typo error now let's fix it uh, if you see here instead of read properties i just missed out the o here so read properties let's save this and upload the file upload it commit the changes now let's go ahead and build it okay click build now check the output see you can see here it says this is running on staging so we got this value out from the build.properties file now let's add some other properties in our code suppose i want instead of star dot work i want to add the application name here okay i want to add the application name so let me just write it down curly braces and what i can do read prop here inside this let me add the properties name okay so if i go this properties name here it will be like uh, to get the application name it is deploy.app.name so let's go to here just write it here deploy.app.name then now save this file save this jenkins file okay upload it back to the 
repository. Just to build now. Let's check it. I can see here this is running on staging server and this DevOps web app is deployed. If we go to the application here and refresh, it is deployed. Now let's for our confirmation, let's just edit something in the application and check whether it is deploying or not. So I'll quickly go ahead and just edit the template.xstml file in the source document. Okay, simply quickly I'll just update it. Instead of 2.6, I'll just add 2.7 and let's commit the changes. Go ahead and build the project and see what is happening. Okay, build now. If I go here, check the logs and successfully uploaded. So I updated to the version 1.7, sorry, 2.7. If I go here and refresh this page, see, it has uploaded successfully. Now you saw how we can write the code in the pipeline to read the Java properties file. Whether it is Java or .NET, you can read the properties file like this. You can use the snippet generator to generate the code and put it in your pipeline script. Hope you understood clearly how we can use the uh, snippet generator to generate the pipeline syntax and uh, pipeline scripts and all. If you have any doubt or any things, please do comment me in the comment section below. I'll try to answer your questions or queries. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe so that you'll get notified when I add more videos on that. Thank you.